The shortfin mako is a highly evolved swimmer and takes the title among sharks for the fastest burst speeds. But how exactly does the mako compare? Let's imagine a race. As competitors will throw in the mako's cousin, the great white, one of the mako's fastest prey, the Atlantic bluefin tuna, and finally, a top swimmer from Team Human, Michael Phelps. If we place them in an Olympic swimming pool and they swim at top speed, what happens? The shortfin mako takes the top spot at 35 miles per hour, while Phelps comes in last place at 4.3, not his average day in the swimming pool. Broken down into feet per second, that's 6 for Phelps, 37 for the tuna, 44 for the great white, and a whopping 51 for the shortfin mako. Phelps' top speed is about the same as a swift walking pace, pretty quick for movement in water. But the mako leaves him behind, covering the length of one and a half school buses in one second. What if we consider speed over longer distances? The human record for crossing the English Channel is 6 hours and 55 minutes. The shortfin mako would cross in 5 hours given their average cruising speed of 4.2 miles per hour, which tops the human record at 3 miles per hour. The mako's cruising speed is even more impressive when you consider they can swim over 60 miles in a day. So how is the mako so good at both short spurts and long distances? First, the mako doesn't utilize the wavy swimming pattern seen in most sharks. Instead, a smooth, powerful tail stroke pushes the mako forward more efficiently. Second, the mako's muscle is specialized to quickly take in oxygen, allowing it to recover twice as fast as other sharks. Third, makos can trap heat in some body parts. Warmer organs and muscle means better performance. No wetsuit required. Finally, the mako's conical snout is optimal for piercing the water, and its crescent-shaped tail pushes it forward with less resistance making it one of the top winners in the water when it wants to range and race.